Well, on this episode today, I got the hood, got the trunk. We're going to be sanding them. I've already started dry sanding them. You know, we're going to go back to this wet sand here, so this wet sand paper, get these things sanded, get some paint on them, so we'll get this done. This will be the last cut in process of this car before I paint it. So let's get to it. I'll kind of show you here what I got going on. I got the hood here, as you see. I've started dry sanding it in some areas. You can see it's a little dusty and stuff, but uh, I still got to do some more dry sanding to this. Here's the trunk. I got pretty much all the dry sanding done on it. It's, uh, as you can see, dusty also. And this one here is ready to start wet sanding. You know, I'm going to have to really, when I wet sand this stuff, really spray down in these holes and stuff, as you see here, because there's dirt and dust and stuff in there from whenever I've sanded this thing, and there's dirt in there, period. So I need to wash it all out so when I'm painting it, it doesn't blow all back up in the paint and stuff. So here it is here. So let's get sanding them, and then we'll uh, let them dry probably a day or so, and I'll come back and paint them. All right, after sanding forever on those things, I got them sanded. Here, I'll show y'all what they look like. Here they are here, as you can see. Sanding them best I could. It's just hard to get in all these little spots like this. This trunk, I tried to make sure it was a little bit better than the hood, because the hood, I'll show you here, areas like in here, and these like triangle looking areas, and these straight up long pieces on the side get like a sound deadening slash hood insulation and they're more for heat I guess not really sound deadening just for more heat but it gets all that in there and I'm gonna still paint some of it I might not put a whole lot of color right here just to save some this might seal it up good and uh because it's all gonna get covered up with something else ain't no sense wasting material or anything I need to but uh here they are here I sanded them best I can get them it is just tough getting around all these little spots and everything and these things just takes time I got them clean, masked off the edges a little bit because I didn't really worry about a whole lot getting on the other side because it's still got to be sanded. And uh, it might not look the best in some areas because, like I said, you can see here, there's still rust pits and stuff and stuff, but this all gets covered up. So it'll just get something on it, protect it from rusting mainly. But the main thing I'm concerned about, if you see all these little holes in these things and behind all these bracing and stuff, it had tons of dirt and grit from over the years, and I sandblasted these parts, so I had some sand in there too, but I washed and washed, stuck the hose back in all these parts best I could whenever I was cleaning it. Thought I had it all, but I started blowing it the next day after I dried it, and there's just sand and grit coming out everywhere. But I got it 99%, I feel like, but I'm sure there's going to be stuff that blows out from areas like this here, and, you know, this different hose and stuff. So... We'll just have to see how it goes. Maybe after I put a coat of sealer on it, I might nib it some. So I got the sealer mixed up. I got these things wiped down, ready to go. So let's get spraying them.
got that first coat of sealer sprayed on there well the only coat I'm putting on that but I didn't have too much dirt I went ahead and nibbed it all you probably can't tell but I might just nib this whole trunk lid with some 600 grit I just got done tacking it off and I did the same thing on this hood but I didn't do inside where the insulation is going to cover so anyhow there it is there let's get this color sprayed on it and get going First coat on there, color looks pretty good. Didn't have no mishaps with it or nothing like that. I can see, as you see, I left the center part out here open, just trying to save a little money on paint. Now it's a small area, but it all adds up. Paint's getting so high anymore, it's not really worth doing anything. But I'd started this project way before paint started getting stupid high. But anyhow, there's the hood. Here's the trunk here. Looks pretty good, so let's get the last coat of color on this thing and then we'll clear it after it flashes from there. Here they are to the last coat of color. I've done flash now for about 45 minutes to an hour. Kind of lost track of time. But uh, here they are. Looks pretty good. Didn't have no lifting problems or wrinkling or anything like that. There's the hood. Here's the trunk here. I'm going to be putting some uh, two coats of clear coat on it. So let's get doing that. I'm starting to run out of daylight. Time changed last night. And it's cooler outside. So I'm trying to paint this while I got some sunlight so outside to generate some heat. It's pretty warm today. It's up in the, uh, I think it was like low 70s today, but it'll start cooling off pretty fast when that sun starts going down. So let's get clearing it.
okay. Just got done spraying that. Uh, looks pretty good. Come out better than I thought it would. I'll show you here. Here they are here. Got this nice factory uh, finished silver spray here. No, I'm just kidding. That's kind of like how it looks whenever you... Uh, on a factory hood, behind the hood insulation, they kind of just let the overspray fly like that. But uh, here it is here. Kind of lay down pretty good. It's a little blotchy in some areas, but it's hard to tell. It's just mainly how I was trying to spray it, like make sure I got these edges and everything all covered down in these grooves so it kind of, the metallic laid down a little funny, but it's under the hood. You'll never be able to really tell. I mean, it's gonna be shut 90% of the time. But here it is here. Looks pretty good. The trunk's over here. It came out a whole lot nicer than I thought it would. I mean, there's a little bit of dirt down in these areas where it blew out. You might be able to see some in there, but uh, like right there, there's some. But 90% uh, of it looks pretty good, which I'm pretty pleased with. I thought it would have huge chunks blowing out because I kept blowing on this thing. I blew on this thing for probably a half hour off and on trying to get this thing clean, and uh, it... Uh, just couldn't ever get everything out of there, but it came out a whole lot better looking than I thought it would. Anyhow, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching and stay tuned. We'll probably next on this Thunderbird, I'll probably get on doing the suspension and stuff like that. Get it painted, get it put on there, and uh, you know, we'll move on with the thing.